keto. When we think about keto, look, when you apply ketosis, when you apply intermittent fasting strategies, and when you do it the right way, it's so powerful. I mean, when we think about the human body, the human body is magnificent. You are a self-healing machine, and you are built so magnificently. As long as we do our part, and we have to do three steps to healing your body. And when I say healing your body, yes, I mean burning fat. I mean feeling good. I mean getting incredible results, but results that stick. We are not talking about calorie counting. Let's get away from the yo-yo dieting. Let's get away from focusing on calories and let's focus on health. So what are those three things that you might be curious about? I wrote about it in my book, Keto Flex, Three Steps to Healing Your Body. I want everybody to write this down in your notes. Hopefully you're taking notes. And if you're not, go grab a pen and paper and write these notes. First step to healing your body, identify the interference. Second step to healing your body is remove that interference. And the third step is to allow your incredible body to heal. So let's talk about what is interfering with the human body, with this innate intelligence within the body. I don't know if you knew this, but you're going to know it now. Inside of your body sits the world's greatest physician, the world's greatest healer. It's called the innate intelligence. I believe in God, so I believe God put it there, but you could substitute that word God for Mother Nature, love, the universe, whatever you feel comfortable with. But what sits within your trillions of cells in your body is this innate intelligence. Something is interfering with this innate intelligence from going, from doing its job. And it's usually multiple things. When we think about the average American, I don't know if you knew this, this is a crazy stat, but the average American is eating 17 to 23 times per day. They're in a constant fed state, which blocks this innate intelligence. And what happens? Then the innate intelligence struggles and it sends communications to your DNA nucleus to start turning on bad genes, genes that could lead to cancer, genes that could lead to obesity, genes that could lead to autoimmune disease. But nobody has an autoimmune problem. Nobody has a cancer problem. Nobody has an overweight problem. Those are symptoms of a root cause problem. Okay, so when we think about eating throughout the entire day, how is that even possible, Ben? How does, the, how does the, a person eat 17 to 23 times per day? Well, think about it. It's the grazing, the handful of nuts they're eating at their desk, the sip of the protein shake, the protein bar, the kombucha. Look, even if it's the healthiest snack in the entire world, when you raise glucose and insulin, you're in a fed state and you're starting the digestive process. And I got to tell you this, that is a process that takes a lot of energy, a lot of blood flow, and a lot, a lot of resources. So now you have this innate intelligence being directed to digesting a meal throughout the whole day when that innate intelligence could be dealing with other areas in your body. So number one, we want to eat less often. Intermittent fasting is not technically about eating less and cutting calories. Intermittent fasting is about eating less often. So the first step right here for somebody who's brand new to changing their lifestyle to a healthier lifestyle is to just eat less often. Look, have the same amount of calories you're already having if you want, but have them less often. Start with three meals a day and then work your way up to a fasting schedule. I'm going to talk a little bit more about fasting and keto and, and all these, these ancient healing, healing strategies. But before I do, I also want to re remind you to start posting your questions for me. I see a few coming in on Facebook, a few coming in on YouTube. I see David from the UK oh, is joining us. I see Ina in the Philippines. I see Pamela in South America. Guyana, I see Galvin's asking me if the keto, will you recommend keto diet for bodybuilding? I'll get to that question shortly. Andrew, good to see you on here. I see Lanouche watching from Israel. Pretty cool. I see Zippor in the house from California. I see Becky in the house. Uh, amen. That's right. Amen. Uh, so first of all, let me introduce myself. I didn't introduce myself. For those who I'm just meeting, 
Uh, I'm so grateful to meet you. My name is Ben Azadi. I am the best-selling health author of four books. I'm in the process of writing my fifth book, Shh. and I'm the founder of Keto Camp. And here at Keto Camp, our mission, our goal, our heart is to educate and to inspire one billion people. So far, Keto Camp has been represented in 111 countries. We have our YouTube channel with over 130 subscribers, our TikTok channel with over 150,000 subscribers. Our podcast has over a million downloads. Our YouTube channel has over 6 million views. And that's our mission and, and what we want to do. So let's get into this conversation. I'm going to get to Galvin's question about building muscle, bodybuilding with keto. And I see your photo super ripped. I see you flexing. So keto can be done in combination with muscle building, uh, but you want to be strategic with it. You want to have your meals to be protein focused. Animal based protein, of course, is better. And what ketones could do, if you think about ketones, some of the research suggests that ketones are muscle sparing. And if you combine keto with healthy uh, sleep schedule, so getting quality of sleep, so you're repairing and building muscle, lifting weights, and just reducing the inflammation in your body, yes, you could build muscle because you're going to heal your gut, you're going to assimilate nutrients better, which could help build up muscle. Now, what I would point you to, Galvin, is to a couple of interviews I've done on the Keto Camp podcast where we talked about keto for muscle building. One of them is with my friend Robert Sykes, who's the keto savage. He's a natural keto bodybuilder. And we talk about keto and muscle building on the Keto Camp podcast. That was recorded about a year ago. You could find it on any podcast platform. I also interviewed Dr. Ryan Lowry, who does a lot of research with ketones and CrossFit athletes. He was on the pot Keto Camp podcast as well. So that's where I would direct you to. I see Anila in the UK, Maria in the UK. I see Marion in Wisconsin. Uh, always taking notes from my wisdom. I love that. Thank you so much. Let me check YouTube real quick. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Victoria. Hey, Har Harkarit, Tony, Michael, good to see you. We have Las Vegas in the house. Herb and Spice Kitchen, good to see you on here. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Uh, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because it helps people focus on gratitude, vitamin G, which is the strongest vitamin in the world. Uh, have you ever done a DNA analysis and has it, uh, has it any... Eddie says, have you ever done a DNA analysis and had it analyzed? analyze to better choose supplements? And if so, what company? Uh, Eddie, D DNA testing could give you some clues, but I don't like, like to put a lot of emphasis on DNA testing, but it could give you some clues to like specific genetic SNPs. And, you know, yeah, supplements could help. For example, if you have like the MTHFR gene, you might want to take some supplements to help with methylation, like folates and, and B vitamins. A company that I would use is from Systemic Formulas. They have a good DNA test to answer your question. Seagull, I have shifted to low carb from keto, keeping animal products in three meals. How much will that help? That's great. Um, you're going to, uh, shifting from low carb to keto will get you into ketosis. So you're fat burning. Ketones are a great source of energy for the brain. Uh, so doing three meals a day is great. You might want to eventually get to two meals and practice intermittent fasting, but that strategy is absolutely terrific. Ingrid says three times a day is normal, or at least it used to be 17 to 23 times a day is a lot. I get about one to two hours of an eating window, two to 4 p.m. Awesome, Ingrid. Good job. Yeah, the average American is constantly grazing. Haley says, is black coffee okay to drink during a fast? So I have my morning coffee. I didn't finish it yet. My cup says, I'm so happy and grateful now that dot, dot, dot. And it helps me think of something I'm grateful for. So hopefully you're thinking about something you're grateful for. So I have my coffee in here. I have a little bit of some C8 MCT oil and salt. Does coffee break a fast? Very good question. If you want to get the most benefits from your fast, I recommend having water and electrolytes, sea salt, minerals, etc. Now, coffee can be okay during a fast, but here's how you need to know to test for sure. You got to test your blood glucose before you have your coffee and 30 minutes after. If you see your blood glucose rise more than five points 30 minutes after having the coffee, 
then what's going to happen, it'll negate some of the autophagy. So you got to test to know for sure. But hey, if that coffee is going to help you extend your fasting window, I'm all for it. You know, keep having that coffee. It could definitely help. Tony says it's high blood pressure caused by insulin and or hypothyroid. The number one cause of high blood pressure is high insulin levels. So that's why keto could be such a great way to get off your blood pressure medication because you drop insulin. Of course, if you have high blood pressure, you want to work with the practitioner on this, and this is not medical advice, but high insulin is the root cause of high blood pressure. So you want to make sure you're controlling insulin, and as you control insulin, you'll control blood pressure. We've had several students in my Keto Camp Academy get off their blood pressure reducing medications within weeks and sometimes months just by getting their insulin low with keto. So it can be done. You know, we are, tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in America, in the United States of America, the greatest country in the world. And there's Black Friday deals deals going on. If you're not familiar with Black Friday, it's a, a time where Americans buy a lot of products and there's always Black Friday specials. Now I have my signature course called my Keto Camp Academy which is the full blueprint to teaching keto and giving you coaching and giving you a structure. It has all my four pillars in there. That's $97 a month. I understand that's not affordable for a lot of people. So I, I do want to share something with you, uh, an opportunity for you to learn from me, but not have to spend that much money until you are ready to upgrade. So I have what's called a Keto Camp Basic Membership. This is for somebody who's new to keto. So if you're watching right now and you want to learn how to burn fat, get into ketosis and teach your body to burn fat and reduce inflammation, I'm offering my first pillar, which is my adapt pillar, along with some free guides and some bonus content for only $5 per month. Now, this is for those who are new. Eventually, you would want to upgrade to the academy, which is the full course, but I wanted to share that and you could get signed up for that, which is a special Black Friday deal over at startketocamp.com. And I'm going to get to some more questions I see coming through here. But startketocamp.com. Uh, Keto Camp is spelled with the K. $5 a month, cancel any time, will get you that first pillar. If you are not new to keto, then my Keto Camp Academy is going to suit you. This is a good start for you to do, and then eventually you could upgrade to the Academy. But hey, it's startketocamp.com, $5 a month which is ridiculously low. The value in there is worth thousands of dollars. Any remedies for seasonal, seasonal allergies? Yes. Work on the gut. If you're experiencing seasonal aller allergies, work on the gut. I like a product called Ion. Testing, testing, one, two, three. What happened? Testing, testing. Ah, oh, what happened here? I know on Instagram you could hear me and on, on uh, TikTok, but... Okay, I think this is good now. Let me know on YouTube if you could hear me now. You should be able to hear me now. Uh, let me know. Okay, works now. Cool, thank you, thank you.
It, it happens. It happens a lot more than often. Um, so when it comes to a weight loss plateau on keto, here's what you want to do. You want to mix things up. You want to eat different keto foods. Hey, and if you've been doing keto for eight to 12 weeks already, you're in ketosis for eight to 12 weeks. It's time to start flexing. Have a flex day. And I teach this in the academy and I teach in the keto flex book. Make sure your sleep is good. Make sure your stress levels are good. Add some strength training into the mix. So always mix things up change up the routine and your body has to adapt and that adaptation will get you results. It's called hermesis. So that would be my recommendation for those who are struggling uh, to lose weight on keto. And also don't focus so much on the weight, focus more on health, non-scale victories. Um, Ion is the product, I-O-N from Dr. Zach Bush. And you can find that over at ketocampsupplements.com. During fasting, can we have mint, basil, rosemary, dill, oregano, tea by stewing without sugar? That should be okay, Tony. You may want to check your glucose on that, but all of those are great for, for the liver. So I like the idea of having those. Jen Jen says, hey, Ben, I'm concerned about the right amount of protein levels in relation to kidney health. What are your thoughts? Now, if you have no kidney disease or history of kidney disease, there's no need to worry about protein consumption. Your kidneys will filter out anything in excess. The rule of thumb we focus on at Keto Camp is to get about 40 to 50 grams of animal-based protein at all of your meals. That equates to about 8 to 10 ounces at the minimum. So as long as you're hitting that, you should be okay, Jen Jen. During, uh, I already answered that question. Hi, Ben. Started the Keto Camp Academy. As you know, I've been doing great, already seeing results. I've dropped one dress size. Let's go. However, I've been very busy for the last two weeks and fell off keto. What's the best way to restart? Best way to restart is to get back to where you picked up from. So log into the academy, ketocamplogin.com. And maybe you wanna go back to pillar one and just restart pillar one all over again. Uh, if you've already brought your carbs up, bring them back down, just get right back on, on that horse. I could also give you some more detailed coaching on our group coaching call this Saturday. If you wanna join that, I'd be happy to give you some coaching on there, but make sure you don't worry about the setback. It's not about the setback, it's about the set. It's about the get back. Setbacks are usually setups for something great. And congrats on the one dress size. Luis says, did, I did intermittent fasting for a week and I lost five pounds. Also, I'm on the keto diet. Now I eat 23 days ago. Now I eat 23 days ago. I ate regular meals and then five pounds are, are back. Yeah, don't focus too much on the weight. Um, give it a good seven weeks and focus on non-scale victories, Luis. Ideally, when you start keto, you wanted to get into ketosis and stay there for 12 weeks and then start flexing. It sounds like you just did it for a week, which is great, but then you flexed out too soon. So you might want to get in there a little bit longer, Lewis. Does LMNT break your fast? No, it does not. The electrolyte LMNT is terrific. It does not break your fast. What's the best? I'm a vegetarian. What's the good source of protein? Uh, I don't know if you have eggs, but eggs would be great. Wild caught fish would be great. Also, uh, what would be great would be fermented soys like tempeh and natto. Those are great vegan sources of protein. What do you think about Dr. IDZ on TikTok? He seems to knock our keto diet. You know, I don't pay too much attention to him. Dr. IDZ is not in the trenches like me. Uh, I've, I've put thousands of people through a ketogenic protocol. We've seen a crazy, incredible results. I mean, how do you argue results? If you just go into our academy and see all of the amazing posts from Transform in our Facebook group, uh, so the proof is in the pudding. Uh, Dr. IDZ has more of a conventional mindset, but he's been respectful, at least to me on TikTok. So I'm not going to say anything bad about him. I'm somebody who has a, a mindset of abundance. There's a lot of dietitians and nutritionists, especially on TikTok, that just go after people. Like that's what they do. Like Lane Norton, they just go after, that's their whole deal, going after people. And I don't put energy into hating other people. If I disagree with somebody, I'm not going to make a video like bashing that person. Unfortunately, they do that. But my energy is more of abundance, love, gratitude. I'm going to serve the people who are open to being served. And anybody who hates, haters are going to hate. Haters are going to, haters are going to hate. Creators are going to create. The thing about haters is that haters will see you walk on water and they'll say, oh, it's because he can't swim. <laughs> So I don't put too much emphasis and energy into the uh, other people who are not seeing the things we're seeing. What are your thoughts on using dandelion tea to lower blood pressure? Dandelion tea is great for the liver. 
If you're doing it during a fast, it won't break the fast. I don't know if there's research on dandelion tea for blood pressure. There might be. I just don't know top of my head. But either way, I'm a big fan of dandelion tea. I would stay away from licorice, black licorice tea. That could raise blood pressure. Marion says, I lost 80 pounds on keto since June. Lots of sagging skin, arms, and abdomen. How can I firm this up? Okay, great job, Marion. Congratulations. 80 pounds. That's amazing. How do you firm your skin after weight loss? A few things you can do. Build muscle. That's probably the best way. Build lean muscle, lift some heavy weights. It, it can, you could start with your body weight. Adding more collagen could also help. Getting autophagy with intermittent fasting strategies could help. I have a video on my YouTube channel that's all about loose skin after weight loss. I think it's like five ways to tighten skin after weight loss. So watch the video, Marion, and congratulations on your 80 pounds. How long for the liver to process proteins per meal? I do six ounces per meal. Uh, I don't know the answer to that question, Andrew. Um, six ounces per meal though, it sounds low, especially for a male. I would go and bump that up to at least eight to 10 ounces of protein. Hey Ben, I've been on keto for more than a month, but I did calorie deficit and do workouts for three months. But when I started a keto diet, I started working out my muscles grow, but my belly is now getting flattened. Thank you. That is awesome. Ina, good job. Congratulations to you. Let me see if I missed something on Instagram. Thank you, Becky, for always helping out on here. Ion health is for the gut. Yeah, ion gut health. That's correct. I-O-N gut health. Correct. Weight training, resistance training are great for getting toned. Go follow GC3 Fitness on YouTube. He's got a great channel. The best protein powder. I would look for a protein powder. I like health code. I don't know if you could get health code, Dr. Ben Bickman's powder in, in Canada, but health code is great. L H L T H code. Um, I also like a grass fed collagen. If you could find a hundred percent grass fed collagen, that's cold processed. That'll be good. Is it safe to microwave your food or is that radiation bad thoughts? Microwaving is not good. Um, there's something called microwave sickness. And it's not a good idea to microwave your food. So I wouldn't use that. I would use more of an, I would use an oven. Yeah, Temple, Health Code is terrific. Bed and Bickman is great. We do some cool things with Health Code. I also like the protein powder from Paleo Valley. They have a great bone broth protein powder. Our code with them is KetoCamp15. Is egg allowed on the carnivore diet. Eggs are allowed on a level three carnivore diet. So there's four levels to the carnivore diet. I, I teach the carnivore diet. It's the third pillar in my book, Keto Flex, called phase, because you're phasing out all anti-nutrients and carbs. The third, so there's four different levels of carnivore. I'm going to break those down real quick for you all. Level one of carnivore is just beef, tallow, and salt very restrictive, but that's great for somebody who has severe autoimmune disease. Level two is all of level one plus all animal protein. So you could have chicken, you could have beef, you could have uh, bison, you could have uh, seafood, all animal protein. Level three is all of the above plus eggs and dairy. So level three would include eggs. Level four is the most flexible version of carnivore, which allows all of the above plus some plant-based sauces, a little bit of some avocados, mushrooms, etc. What do you think about pink Himalayan salt? I think it's great. Just make sure the company does testing for heavy metals. My favorite salt is Redmond's Real Salt. Hey, my dog is uh, making noises down there. You are very welcome, Juan. I'm grateful to help you out here. Can I gain muscle mass on low carbs or a keto diet? Yeah, Gilvin, I uh, already answered that question. If you didn't, if you missed it, watch it. Uh, re watch the replay. We talked about how to do that. You could definitely do it. And I gave you two 
podcast episodes to listen to. Dr. Christian Gonzalez has a video on proteins, goes into metals and third-party testing. Cool. I don't know who Dr. Christian Gonzalez is, but I like that he does that. Vital protein collagen is good. Um, I, I use them as well. How long each phase in carnivore that you just discussed? Okay, let me outline that and keep your questions coming. Let me just take a sip of my coffee here. So phase one. Phase one, or I should say pillar, pillar one, pillar one in the academy is called adapt. That is a 28 day pillar getting you fat adapted, helping you burn fat instead of sugar. No keto flu required, no symptoms required. I like a 28 day approach. And that's what I'm offering for $5 in my keto camp membership over at startketocamp.com. Once you graduate that pillar, you move, move on to pillar two. Pillar two is only available in the keto camp academy. Pillar two is called fast. That's another 14 to 28 days doing different intermittent fasting protocols. Once you graduate pillar two, you move into pillar three, which is called phase, carnivore, phasing out all anti-nutrients. This is about 30 to 60 days of doing carnivore. After that, you have been now in ketosis for eight to 12 weeks. You have graduated and earned the badge to enter the keto flex pillar, which is pillar four. In the keto flex pillar, you start flexing in and out of ketosis, and I have different strategies depending on your goals and where you are at with your health and et cetera. So it, all in all, it's about a 60 to 90 day protocol. And in the book, Keto Flex, I outline that, but in the Keto Camp Academy, I give you more of a video structure and I give you coaching on it. Debbie, good to see you in New Jersey. Happy, happy Thanksgiving to you. How many protein of ounces, 50, um, 50 plus years old, 5'5 five, five in weight? So Marcy, I would focus on getting at least 40 to 50 grams of animal-based protein at each of your meals at the minimum, which is 8 to 10 ounces. Ben, are vegan protein powders good? Yeah, it depends on the one you get. So I'm going to release an interview on my Keto Cam podcast next week with Dr. Max McLeod, and he has formulated a great vegan protein powder that you could find, um, we talk, I forget his website, but you could find Dr. Max McLeod. You could uh, learn about that when we go do our interview next week. I think Sun Warrior also makes a good vegan protein powder. What is the 2222 rule? Says James. James, the 2222 rule is for those who are new <clears throat> to keto and for those who want to go and burn fat instead of sugar. So every day you consume this, not in one sitting, but throughout the day for the first seven to 14 days of doing keto. Number one, the first two is two tablespoons of avocado oil or olive oil. The second two is two tablespoons of coconut oil or MCT oil. The third two is two tablespoons of grass-fed butter or grass-fed ghee. And the fourth two is two teaspoons of sea salt. That is the two, 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 two rule. Alicia says, I've been doing keto or less than 40 grams of carbs a day for 18 months. Would I automatically be in a flex stage and would not have to start at adapt? So Alicia, um, you are, good, good job for that discipline. 18 months is a little bit long. I would start flexing, but I would start flexing low and slow with maybe just doubling those carbs from 40 to 80 and seeing how your body responds. So I think you're due for a flex day. I would go and flex for a little bit. And then maybe go back to pillar two, pillar three, if you join the academy. Uh, isogenics collagen, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm skeptical about them, so I'm not going to say yay or nay. Alternatives for beef, chicken, organic free-range chicken, eggs, bison, lamb, poultry like turkey. Tomorrow's turkey day. Is dark chocolate, I'm a dark chocolate fan, says Pete, and don't want to give it up. Wouldn't be the best day to savor a square or two. If you're just having a dark chocolate 85% or higher, uh, it's not going to knock you out of ketosis if you're doing a square or two. So that's fine. It does have caffeine typically, so have it in the day, not at night. Good seeing you in Orlando and Vegas. Yeah, good seeing you and your wife, James. Now I know who you are. I could, I could uh, kind of see from the photo there. Yeah, good seeing you in Orlando and in Chicago with you and your wife. That was amazing. I've stalled and gained weight. Do you offer a program to get the weight off? 
The best program for you, James, is the is my premier program called the Keto Camp Academy, where I have, there's 200 plus videos on there you can't find anywhere else. And I give you coaching. We do master classes. Um, so that's the best thing. You can learn about that, James, over at ketocampacademy.com. Could you explain the flex stage? Yes. So I love keto. Look, keto is such a powerful tool. Every single one of our ancestors, they did keto. That's a fact. So when somebody says, hey, keto is not, or, or they say keto is a diet that's a fad, it's a trend. No, it's not. It's a fact. Every single one of your ancestors did keto, but your ancestors also flexed out of ketosis whenever they had the opportunity. That's the premise behind keto flexing. We want to develop metabolic flexibility. We do not want to be dogmatic about keto. We don't want to put ourselves in a box. We want to have sustainability, metabolic flexibility. So in the book, Keto Flex, I talk about four reasons why you don't want to stay in ketosis long-term. There's actually a fifth reason that I should include. And that's the goal of going in and out of ketosis. We want to be in ketosis most of the time, but not all the time. Of course, I remember James. I appreciate you and your wife. Ken, I'm watching from Botswana, Africa, and I'm enjoying your keto education. Very cool. Uh, Ken, thank you so much for watching from Africa. Hey, Cornelia, good to see you. I'm having some purity coffee with C8 MCT oil and sea salt. Judy says, I just got my book. I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about Keto Flex. So excited to read it. Awesome, Judith. Judy, thank you so much. If you want to get my book, Keto Flex, it's actually on sale right now on Amazon. If you go to ketoflexbook.com, it's on sale for both Kindle and paperback. And I'm five chapters done with the Audible recording. And I'm, I'm going to do a chap. I'm going to do like three to four chapters a week. So I should be done with the Audible recording in a couple of weeks. And then we submit it to Audible. And they, it goes through that process, which takes like 30 to 60 days. So by January, maybe before, we should have Keto Flex available on Audible. And then I'm going to read my sleep book for Audible and my other perfect health booklet for Audible as well. So if you're an audio guy or gal, stay tuned. It'll be out soon. You're very welcome, Michael. My pleasure. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And I want to just say how grateful I am for all of you. If you're new or, or if you've been here for a while, so grateful. And gratitude is the strongest, most potent vitamin, vitamin G you could ever take. So I want to say how grateful I am for all of you joining me every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern time listening to the Keto Camp podcast, you know, following me on the social media channels, getting the books. Me, Alina, who's a part of the Keto Camp team, and the entire Keto Camp team, Andrea, Rachel, Ian, Cameron, we all appreciate you and we're so grateful for you. We're going to keep showing up. We're going to keep delivering the message and we're going to keep supporting you as much as possible on our social media channels and of course in the academy is our priority. What is your day after Thanksgiving routine. The best thing to do after feasting is to go back to your intermittent fasting schedule and doing like a fasted workout. That's probably what I'm going to do, Tracy. Since I'm vegetarian, no eggs, no seafood, no meat. Am I getting enough from your keto? Am I getting anything from your keto flex book? Yeah, you can, Tony, if you use tempeh natto, our great vegan sources of Protein, tempeh, natto. Keto is about going low carb, not about going high fat technically. Grateful for you, Marion. Thank you. Jolie says, I'm on keto and intermittent fasting. I lost 30 pounds, but gained 10 back after snacking on keto-friendly macadamia nuts. Yeah, macadamia nuts are very tricky. So... Be careful with uh, overdoing it with macadamia nuts. They're so good, creamy, and delicious. So if you're going to eat macadamia nuts, here's a little hack for you. Get the bag, grab a handful of the bag, put the bag away, and just eat what's in your hand. But if you grab the whole bag, you're just going to keep going through that bag. You got to be careful. Look, fat is great. Healthy fats are great. But if you're eating a whole bunch of healthy fats, your body does need to burn 
the healthy fat before it goes back to your body fat. So Jolie, congratulations on your 30 pounds of weight loss. Let's just eliminate the excess fat and maybe even prioritize protein. I'm grateful for you, Marion. Thank you. Uh, did I hear you say you're not a fan of ketone drinks? Yeah, I don't like to rely on exogenous ketones. There's, there's a time and place for it. Some companies do it the right way, but I'm not one who tends to rely on exogenous ketones. I like to teach your body to do the work. You can't substitute the innate intelligence. There's nothing that could replace that innate intelligence, including exogenous ketones. Jason, uh, can you, good job with the streak. I appreciate you right back, my friend. Awesome. Looking forward to the audiobook. What keto bar? What about the keto bar? Love good fats. Love good fats. Let me look them up. Love good fats keto bar. So I'll share my screen on YouTube and Facebook. All right, let's check this product out. So don't fall for the, the label right? The label is great, you know, keto friendly, non GMO, what we want to do is click on the product. And we want to scroll and look for the ingredients. And here are the ingredients. So it has roasted almonds, peanuts, coconut oil, medium chain triglycerides, soluble corn fiber, fava bean protein crisp, dark chocolate, chicory root, palm kernel, palm oil, brown rice protein, cacao powder, processed with alkali, sunflower lecithin, salt, chicory root, dried cranberry, sunflower oil, natural flavor. Now this one right here, I'm not a big fan of. And here's a couple of things why I don't like this product or at least this specific bar. Peanuts can contain mold and some people don't really digest peanuts well. The rice brown rice protein and the fava bean protein isolate could create an insulin a glucose and insulin response that might knock you out the sunflower oil does not say organic cold pressed so i would stay away from this specific flavor let's look at some other ones chewy nutty white chocolate strawberry yeah jimmy moore my brother my friend sabbatical to 50 love you dude why does it have so many ingredients to your point? Shitload of ingredients, excuse my language, but Jimmy said it first. So let's look at the next product. This one also has a lot of ingredients and it has the same thing with the sunflower oil. And, you know, I don't know why they put so many ingredients, I guess to make it taste good. So it's not the best bar. Now it's better than some out there. And this one also has, let's see, this one also has, the protein isolate, the brown rice protein. Yeah, so I'm not a big fan of it. I, I would stick with other companies that do better job. So yeah, natural flavors, by the way, could mean beaver's anal gland. That's not a joke. <laughs> Look it up. It doesn't always mean that, but it could mean the anal gland of beavers, natural flavors. So I like Nush. Nush makes a good protein bar. Jimmy, what are some other ones? I can't think of other ones. Um, Paleo Valley makes a good superfood bar as well. Clean ingredients. Nush is good. Paleo Valley is good. Um, what are some other ones I can't think of right now? But I would stay away from the, the one we just went over. Awesome, Tony. Thank you for getting the book Keto Flex. I appreciate you, my friend. Ketoflexbook.com. Can a brisk walk 30 minutes a day lower blood glucose? Absolutely can, especially if you do it right after a meal. That's the best time. So yes, walking is so underrated and so important. Like tomorrow, we have Thanksgiving. After you feast, go for a 30-minute walk after a big meal, and it's such a great way to lower postprandial glucose. Thank you, Victoria. So grateful for you as well. For how long can a muffin knock you out of ketosis? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It depends on how healthy your metabolism is. If somebody has a really wonky metabolism, it could be days to over a week. But if your metabolism is healthy, like if I had a muffin or two, I would be right back in ketosis within 24 hours. So it's going to depend on the person's metabolism and how much work they've done. Yeah, Jimmy Moore says he's not a big fan of bars. Just eat real food. That's the best advice. Just eat real food. If you want to have a snack, 
the best idea is to have your snacks with the meal and have that meal uh, or have like nuts, macadamia nuts, peely nuts, real food is the goal. Yeah, carnivore is you avoid the anal glands. No, that's not the carnivore we're talking about. <laughs> right, I'm going to answer a couple more questions and then I'm going to, I'm going to hop off. Jason, I appreciate you, my friend. Keep up the good work with your streak. What other questions do you have for me? TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. The special offer is startketocamp.com. $5 a month. Cancel anytime. This is for beginners. It gives you the structure, a 28-day structure on how to burn fat instead of sugar. So it's a no-brainer, honestly. I ordered Keto Mojo. How often do you suggest? How often do you suggest testing it? Uh, Alicia, good. I love Keto Mojo. Great machine. I would test an hour after waking up, and if you're fasting, I would test throughout your fast, and then right before you break the fast is a good idea. So maybe two to three times a day could be a good protocol until you get familiar with it. It's not something you have to do forever. Optimal glucose ranges if you're fasted is 70 to 90. Optimal ketone ranges is 0.8 to 2.8 is a good sweet spot. You don't want really chase ketones. You don't want high ketones. You want optimal ketones. As you get more keto adapted, you actually will see lower ketones and it's not a bad thing. An hour after eating a meal is also a good time to test your glucose. You want to see that below 120. Two hours after eating a meal, you want to see that below 100. You can find the book KetoFlex over at KetoFlexBook.com. KetoFlexBook.com. I'm on Keto Carnivore, but have diverticulitis. Any tips to heal the pain? You know, Ion could be a great product to include. Maybe supplementing with some HCL or digestive enzymes could help. Uh, but I would do some things to repair that gut lining and avoiding pesticides, herbicides, GMO. So eat as clean and organic as possible. All that could only help. I eat clean, no alcohol, no smoking. I play tennis every day, look lean, but cholesterol and glucose levels are high. What can I do? Well, cholesterol being high doesn't mean anything. You want to look at HDL triglycerides, get that ratio of triglycerides divided by HDL, and then look at your inflammatory marker. So for the cholesterol conversation, Type on YouTube, Keto Camp Cholesterol, or go buy Jimmy Moore's book, uh, Keto Clarity, Cholesterol Clarity. Jimmy, I got your book right here, dude. Uh, this is a great book, Cholesterol Clarity, that you could get, and it gives you some more information on cholesterol. And then um, for your glucose being high, so if you're, I don't know what very high means, maybe if you could clarify what very high is. What are some ways to reduce your glucose levels? Quality sleep, seven to nine hours of quality sleep, number one. Exercise like burst training, building muscle, great, great way to burn down excess blood sugars. Berberin, like dihydroberberin, might be a great supplement to take before a meal for glucose response. Cold exposure could help. Hot, hot exposure could help. So these are things you can do. If you want more of a structure on how to do this the right way and coaching from me, then my Keto Camp Academy will be the best resource for me to teach you how to do this. Uh, my audio book is not available yet, but it will be available in January, Andre. All right, I want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave. But uh, if you had some more questions, you could post them, and I'll see if I could come back and respond. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Stay in gratitude. Enjoy it with your friends and family. Uh, be grateful for all the abundance that is around in the world. I believe abundance is our birthright. I'll be live with you again next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, uh, excuse me, 12 p.m. Eastern, I'm live with you. So hopefully you'll join me next week. We're going to have we're going to probably be releasing new videos on the YouTube channel every day. We have so much content we want to get out there. So subscribe to the Keto Camp YouTube channel. On our TikTok channel, we release several videos a day, Instagram as well. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy it. And I'll see you all very, very